gang guys smash that like button guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to cover ethereum so ethereum has a big big move tomorrow it's undergoing a new coding structure underneath ethereum so in today's video guys we're going to talk about that ethereum update that is coming in the near future we're also going to conduct a price analysis and price target slash prediction for ethereum going forward again guys smash that like button and hit that subscribe button let's jump right into it so what is coming guys i am super excited and we're going to talk through it so you're going to keep hearing in the next few days about this ethereum hard fork or the london hard fork so let's talk real quick about that and then we'll dive into the price action all right guys so this movement for ethereum is huge so tomorrow there's going to be what's known as the london hard fork and they're calling this upgrade the eip 1559 um, essentially what it's going to do from a high level, it's going to affect the transactions that happen with Ethereum. But essentially what it's going to do, right? It's going to limit the available supply of Ethereum, creating pricing pressure, okay? So this is the biggest perhaps news with this, aside from the second piece of news, which is going to essentially reduce the gas fees. Again, it's, it's all transactionally based. It's going to affect the gas fees, which ultimately will also in turn affect the supply at which Ethereum is being mined. So with that being said, if there's less supply, you would expect demand to just absolutely skyrocket. So this, this upgrade is scheduled for tomorrow. So this is just something to note leading up to this upgrade. So Ethereum has been on a 12 day winning streak, the longest ever, apparently, right? I've been watching it every day. I, I guess we can call it that. Uh, it, it's had days where it's been kind of shaky, but either way, it has been on a tear. If we look at the bigger time frame, Ethereum has just been nonstop appreciating. Okay, so it's just been going up and down. It sounds like there is a good support and resistance in between about twenty six hundred dollars and about twenty seven fifty, heading towards three thousand uh again we'll dive into the price action after this but the big thing i want to note about this change is that essentially after this upgrade it, it'll make it a little bit similar to bitcoin but bitcoin is still more that store of value it's more of a deflationary asset is what they call it it's a good hedge against inflation uh paying attention to this this tweet here i thought it was very interesting right so uh this copri 87 i don't know who they are i don't necessarily like have a ton of credibility with them i don't know anything about them but they do make some key bullet points here in relation to the eip 1559 which is the london hard fork it doesn't make ethereum deflationary by default so that makes sense right it's not going to automatically be a deflationary asset just because the supply at which you obtain it is limited so that makes sense and it doesn't reduce the ethereum supply by 90 percent which is referred to as triple having oh my gosh i keep opening twitter so damn it it's still very bullish for ethereum so i'm still pretty fired up for ethereum so one thing i also want to note going ahead right so i'm pretty excited ethereum is going to likely appreciate in value but you're culminating this with the uptick it's already been having right so ethereum's been pushing up for 12 days straight it's receiving a major upgrade to the way it handles transactions as of tomorrow and then on top of that, there's been unusual options activity to kind of validate or kind of forecast where the price may be. So it sounds like there's a lot of calls for a strike price towards the end of the year at around $5,000. We're also seeing more and more open interest around $8,000 and $10,000. Now, me personally, my personal price target for Ethereum at the end of this year had always been between eight and $12,000. Uh, but I think this just kicks it up to the next level. Honestly, I think $5,000 was there regardless of this this hard fork upgrade okay either way i think 5000 was there 5000 is conservative in my mind just on the trend that ethereum has been going under and also considering the crypto market cycles that we're in 8 to 10000 is sounding more and more realistic at the end of the year do this is upgrade guys one more thing here we're going to look at coin market cap just for a few things i just wanted to note some things with ethereum so current price as the making of this video we're trading floating at around 2500 dollars in the last seven days we're up nearly 10 percent the current market cap for ethereum is nearly 300 billion and there currently is a circulating supply of a hundred and sixteen million ethereum but Either way, guys, Ethereum is moving nicely. It has been picking up in volume as the entire crypto market has. Bitcoin has been stabilizing a little bit more. Ethereum has just been kind of nonstop appreciating, but at a healthy growth rate. And then you have your more volatile altcoins down below. So let's dive into the price action to tail off this video, guys, and go from there. So you guys heard my price prediction, right? We're going to talk about the price action next. We're on the four hour chart, right? So here's Ethereum. Again, guys, the whole crypto market, we were downtrending for quite a while and then we finally saw that uptick once uh, bitcoin found that beautiful bounce the other day uh, one thing i want to note here so when i was watching ethereum 
uh, prior to this video being made i did note a pretty substantial trend line here now we did break below it but again guys that doesn't validate necessarily that we are reversing in trend there's a couple things we need to look at beyond that we need to look at volume we need to look at many other things uh, but perhaps maybe the trend line just moved here uh, so we do need to see a little bit of support here from ethereum here shortly and we're already starting to see premature signs of that uh, seeing a lot of bottom wicks here and it almost looks like we have a tweezer bottom forming right here as the making of this video which is an extremely bullish uh, reversal pattern so tweezer bottom there on the four hour uh, still up trending on the four hour as well i think things are looking pretty good let's dial in a little bit here so on the 30 minute right on the 30 minute you can tell that the trend line where i had it before which was right here was a much stronger trend line and then you can see again significant uh, dropping right here i'm going to pull up volume as well we want to take a look at that yeah so uh, as we were leading into that drop it looks like volume activity was picking up substantially uh and, and again guys I'm not invalidating this trend line yet because it does look like we perhaps again we broke the trend line here came down came back up and then we're simply retesting it and coming back down so are we perhaps in a downtrend right now i don't know but here's the deal guys here's the deal even technically speaking if ethereum is starting to downtrend i think fundamentally we're still sitting pretty good that is a substantial catalyst that is coming it's been appreciating for 12 days straight and then we're culminating it with that catalyst i think things are looking pretty good here guys so let's know some things leading up to the days ahead so we can kind of prepare for what might be going on with ethereum leading up to this substantial change here so uh one thing i want to note is that in the last couple days here okay the last essentially four days there's been a lot of volume activity i mean volume activity is substantially higher than usual so there's a lot of volume that has been picking up another thing i want to note is that we are starting to find a clear support level uh generally about here low to mid 2400 so it does look like it is holding well above 2400 another thing i want to note here is this trend line here because me personally i like to look for breaks in trend lines so looks like we're testing that trend line as the making of this video this could break out in the middle of the recording here but either way guys uh we need to we need to pay attention to ethereum very closely here because just that drop that we had recently is just a little bit concerning now i'd be a lot more concerned if we broke below this support line here okay but either way i think we are still holding a little bit of footing here and again you guys did see on the four hour how we are still maintaining potentially still net overall uptrend now there's one more indicator i want to look at before closing out on this video and then we will go from there so the indicator i like to use is the moving average and we're going to look at the 200 day moving average in particular here so looking at the 200 day yeah okay so that <laughs> looking at the 200 day again guys everyone's preference is different i like to look at the 200 day on either the four hour or the 30 minute so let's go to the four hour real quick the four hour okay you can see right we are clear above that 200 day moving average now on the 30 minute i like to use that because it seems more relative the 30 minute is just like a nice sweet spot for me where it's more relative to the more interim uptrend and that makes sense right here's why i like the 32 you can see ever since we got out of that hard dip that we had the big downtrend we have for months once we broke out of that we broke above the 200 day moving average and we kept tearing up so i think the 200 day moving average is following suit a little bit closer here and even more so it does look like we did dip below it now a lot of people like to use the ema as well i actually prefer the ema when it comes to trading but when i'm just looking at a high level trend analysis we're gonna use the moving average for this video it does again it looks like it did break below it it came back up and retested that moving average and then it looks like it's about to make another attempt again as we are testing this trend line so overall sentiment bottom line guys here's my two cents ethereum's on a tear the crypto market's on a tear it's been slowly appreciating some you know some altcoins have been more aggressive than others as they always have been more volatile typically right the personality of the crypto is different across the board but ethereum has been non-stop appreciating okay there's been a lot of volume picking up in the last week and we have a substantial upgrade tomorrow now don't confuse this with the ethereum 2.0 upgrade that is a lot different the ethereum 2.0 is a lot more of an overhaul i mean that is completely changing like the coding of ethereum in totality i mean ethereum 2.0 is is completely changing how it's even obtained they're going from a, a proof of work to a proof of state concept again it's a whole nother video topic but this is an ethereum 2.0 but this is kind of a preparation for ethereum 2.0 which is coming projected early next year so that is my ethereum price analysis for this currently we're sitting at 2500 currently we're holding a support at about 2450 and my price target in honestly the next week or two is going to be 
3000 or a little bit higher the reason why i say that is because i think is i think after this upgrade there's going to be a lot more uh volume activity there's going to be a lot more people jumping into this and it can simply just be an overreaction and that's fine but i still think it comes nonetheless i think ethereum hits 3000 very soon and that is your price analysis for ethereum okay you better smash that like button guys if you want to know how to trade or you want to utilize an exchange check the link below guys i got you started on binance us if you also want to get access to bybit just let me know i got affiliate links down there also guys don't forget to follow me on social media down below on my twitter and instagram page linked go ahead and check those out i post daily crypto trade signals and or news on my instagram in particular so maybe some of you guys will check that out and enjoy it a little bit more be sure to check out the patreon link down there as well if you're interested in supporting the channel or buying me a coffee so i can say fire it up on the crypto guys hope this video helped you out share below what your price target is for ethereum going forward and happy trading